Okay, for this one, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do the infamous color wheel. Woohoo! Okay, I get a lot of questions on this one for Vegas users, at least new users. Um, basically, with this one, you're going to be using keyframes, which not a lot of people know what that is, and I will show you exactly what a keyframe is and how to use them. Okay, so I've kind of picked out a spot that I want my, like, color wheel at, at least in this little video. This isn't how it's legitly going to be when I bring this video out, but I just wanted to use it as a uh, preview, obviously, for you guys, so you know exactly how to do it. Okay, so this is the little part that I'm going to use as a tutorial. <laughs> So basically that's the little part, I'm going to do color spectrum as it's known as on Windows Movie Maker. And hopefully this will help all you guys out. Okay so first off, what you're going to do is, if you're not already there, go to video effects. So what we're going to have to do here is, if your clip's not split, press, um, well not split, I mean unlocked from the audio, press U that will automatically remove the audio from the video so you don't chop up the audio as well as the clip itself. So what we're going to do is we're going to split here because I've already found where I'm going to start the color wheel. Now we play and find where we're going to end it. So that's about where I'm going to be ending it. Um, my computer lagged when I did that. I don't know if it's going to record it as lagging, but anyways. So I know where I'm ending it, so I'm going to split the clip again. So now I have this one little part. This is a, its own little clip, and it won't interfere with any of this. So what we're going to do is, since we have video effects, we're going to go under color corrector. You can use secondary or just the normal one. It doesn't really matter. Drag reset to none over the clip, and then it'll bring up this little window. So basically what you're going to do is, this is where you can play around. Obviously you're just going to see which ones you want. There's the highlight color, which you can change the highlights, which would be the whites and lighters colors, obviously. Then there's the mediums, which will change most of the time the whole picture which is good for full color spectrums. I like to switch between my color spectrums though. And then there's the low, which will pick up all the low undertones and blacks and everything. So I think for this one, I will probably use the highs. So what we're gonna do is, well, just pick where you wanna start the color or you can start it off at nothing which just to make sure, just go back to reset to none. Then you click on this little panel down here. This is where your keyframes are. So you can zoom in by using mouse wheel and by using the keyboard if you click into this area. So basically I don't want mine to start off with color just right away so I'm gonna find a few clicks over and then I'm going to go straight to a color. So let's pick blue. And then I'm going to want it to change again, so I'm going to move this little pan and I'm going to pick just a random spot or you can do it all in time by counting all of these. Basically kind of like a roller, it keeps track of stuff. Then I'm going to just move it over. You can just keep doing this over and over. And depending on how far you move it, it'll change the color faster or slower so if I go completely really far away it's going to take a lot longer for it to get back to blue than it did for anything else so basically we can just watch that little sample first I'm going to put another one here and then I like to always finish mine with reset to none even though it goes back to none but it just looks a lot smoother so this is what mine comes out as. Hey 
And that's just a simple way to do it. You can always change it on the beat. Like, I don't know if you guys can see. Down here, there is actually a little bit of a beat. You can see it's kind of exposed. It would be here, 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 and occasionally these. But most of the time, these are words. So I just play off of the... It's almost like it's a really squiggly line, like here you can see it going up and down. And then basically if you want to do that, this gets a little bit more tricky. You're going to go back to your event effects. And then you can basically almost watch the bar down below down here and move this where you want it to. So to delete keyframes, you just click on them till they turn white and then you just hit delete on the keyboard and this just removes them and these are just my two reset to nuns so basically say I want it to change right here so on your keyboard you can hit insert and it'll put a keyframe there or you can just go immediately to a color and then if you want it to change again on the beat, you're going to put another insert, and then you're going to go right next to it and change it to another color. We'll just go right across. And then you're going to find your next one, which would be here, right next to it. So this is almost like an immediate change instead of gradual. So let's go to red. And then do this again for this next one down here and change that to maybe green and then it'll eventually fade to none and then close that out and then you can just watch it again and that's basically how you do your color wheel you can just play around with that um, for, I think it was my All I Want for Christmas is You by Mariah Carey video, the Christmas special. I did a lot of dual toning, which was, I did this, but I also changed the lower one as well, so it did two colors at once. Which, to do that, you would just go back and forth like this if you wanted to. but it all just depends. This one's gonna look funny because how I have it set up, but it's not gonna look right. So basically you just play around with it until you're content and happy with what you got. I hope this tutorial helped you out and ask questions if you want anything. I am definitely willing to help you guys out. Um, I do not know everything about Vegas. I'm still learning myself. I've had the program forever, but I am still considered a noob in sunny Vegas. All right, anyways, I hope this helped you all out. <laughs> Bye.